Hi sis, welcome to Fab Chic Mares. This is Doris here. Guess what? It is my birthday. I recorded this video in the week of January 19th. That was my birthday. And that was one of my birthday gifts. Hubby <laughs> gave me an espresso machine, which I have been dying to get for years now and I never beat the bullet. And let me tell you, that gourmet thing is so fancy. I love it. You know, just the little things in life, you know, luxury doesn't need to cost a lot of money. And uh, I just love it. It's so good. And my son was helping me to work that thing because <laughs> for stuff like that brand new, I need some help. <laughs> so my favorite um, flavoring is caramel and chocolate. And the mix is so good. And then, of course, the milk that, you know, you'll be throughfing to add to it. Just so good. I started the morning feeling so refreshed and appreciated by the family. This is me, fresh face, trying to drink my coffee. And now we're going to be heading <laughs> to do... Abby decided to take me kind of like doing some luxury shopping. You know me. I love my Goodwill and my thrift shopping. But he was like, today's your birthday. Let's go chill. In Naples, Florida, this is like a very chic town, very upper class. And they have so many different good stores, all of the LVs, the Louis Vuitton, the, you know, the Hermes and uh, a lot of very chic and nice stores so that was so much fun i mean to go inside the stores to see what they have and really to see you know the quality of the materials and the styling and the merchandising so it was such a cool outing and i am taking you in some of those stores with me and this is me outfit of the day it was a rainy day so i decided to be kind of like black my um, long coat and whatnot and this was in taylor the first store that we went into they had some nice pieces but honestly since between you and i nothing i cannot find at goodwill for Salvation Army, honestly. <laughs> I feel honestly like very few stores really impress me with the quality of the clothes because let's be honest, they kind of look like maybe a better quality than Zara. I feel like they were all made in the same factories anyways. That's my take on it. The material felt cheap, although, you know, the prices were high. So... I wasn't really too impressed, you know, um, with the quality of the pieces. I feel like luxury is not really luxury these days, you know. It's still made cheaply. And this this um, jacket was nice. It was like a Chanel-esque um, jacket. And uh, I like the boucle and like the tweeds. Very nice. And the buttons as well. And uh, it had like a kind of a squat I'll show a little bit in a little bit so you can see you can make it a set or you can wear it separately with some other pants or jeans anyways and so I will let you enjoy
Now we got into L'Occitane, which is a French um, skincare brand, and this is an old brand. I mean, very established. And since ever since you know I got into my 40s, I'm really big on um, you know skincare, which started in my, like in my late. 30s once i got some very bad cystic acne i feel like now i'm all into the anti-aging the hyperpigmentation products the um you know the vitamin c serums and i am like a skincare junkie now <laughs> yeah my skin my facial skin is more like shiny it's more it's brighter and healthier than even when i was in my 20s it's just crazy i never thought that all those products could actually do something but they actually work you know i love my retinol i love um you know things i do my regimen at night and uh, my regimen also in the morning and youtube is a great teacher for that so i'll encourage you to get to it and most products don't have to cost a lot of money i get some from amazon and also from target so uh, yeah you can definitely have a small budget and still you know work on your face and your skin and still look you know so now we decided to get into um, Tory Burch. And so this is a designer um, that I really like. I feel like her pieces are very good quality. And I have thrifted a lot of her pieces as well.
now Veronica Beard. If you've never heard of this designer, oh my goodness, a lot of bloggers actually showcase her blazers and her pants. I think Veronica Beard and Kate are both brands that I have really you know gotten to love the quality was dreamy that was the store that really impressed me that day oh my gosh sis i mean the quality pieces it was really luxurious this is so lax and i mean the customer service the the concierge at this point i won't call, i won't call them customer service i'll call them the concierge <laughs> the concierge service was just so top notch and i mean just touching the pieces the, you know the materials are expensive the cuts the fit the style the colors the prints you name it says oh my gosh and i get the prices i get it i get it you know quality is not cheap i get it this is justified trust me <laughs> And I mean, I love this kilted dress. It's actually like a denim dress kilted and it was so gorgeous. And I feel like though you can shop in both stores, but they don't really carry like um, bigger sizes in store. That's what I've noticed. So it's easier to um, purchase the pieces online if you're trying to get maybe size XL or XXL. But those blazers, oh my gosh, I have a thrifted like similar blazers already. Oh, oh my gosh, that's all I can tell you. That is all. I could see myself wearing those blazers and feeling like <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm here, you know. Oh my gosh. And this is actually like a dicky. Um, this is, I think, a concept that they have really revolutionized this is definitely specific to their brand and this actually helps you um, to change kind of like the fit and the style of the blazers yeah this is 250 like per dicky and so what happens is you have to kind of like um, zip you know zip it inside the blazers I'll show you a video in a second and that will create like a hoodie kind of effect or like a almost like you have layered something underneath your blazer so it adds a lot of versatility to your blazer and i actually purchased one piece like this at goodwill oh my goodness yeah a while back so yeah this is really really nice i mean everything was so top notch and you'll see in a little bit i'm going to be trying to blaze this is the first blazer I'm trying on oh the fit is perfect that was size 12 I believe they have size 12 and 14 in store and that was size 12 and it fits me perfectly and I love the flare like of the bottom of the blazers and you just feel so you know luxurious like you know you own a ranch <laughs> you're going horse riding I love it um, I could have gotten those I think they were half price off that day but you know I have similar blazers and then we headed to three people right away um, this these pants kind of like a bouffant pants balloon pants caught my attention and you know me with that kind of boho style and this is the one thing I'm going to be trying at this time
Those are the pants that I tried on. I love, love them so, so much. And I believe they were like $99, so let's say $100. And I was like, you know what, let me visit a few more stores. I don't know if that'll be VIPs, because, you know, I'm kind of frugal. <laughs> All of our have is like, if you like them, take them. I'm like, you know what? Let me go look at other stores. But I like them a lot. And honestly, you know, I don't regret not buying them. Um, but they were so cool. I love that shape, definitely. Then we decided to go to Max Mara. This is when I fell in love with one skirt. And you shall see why. I love this wool kind of like gilet vest and it's like a sleeveless jacket almost I mean this is a work of art I love the contrast between the cream and the black and the tassels and the studs it was just perfection I got this skirt from this clearance rack and sis I love the mixed print I feel like this was me it was very eclectic it's very fashion forward and I was almost about to take it. It was five something, five hundred dollars something like you saw, and it was half price off, so it was like two fifty something. And I loved it, but it was size ten. And yes, I could still wear it, you know, if I suck in <laughs> my stomach. But says, uh, uh, we're not about this life. Either it fits or it doesn't. I'm really looking for, you know, excellence and the perfect. Um, you know the perfect clothing the perfect piece of clothing whenever I am actually shopping and spending my hard-earned money so I was like maybe I'll come back for it and I put it aside but you know I looked it up online later and they were they all ran out of the bigger Now Zimmerman, if you are of the romantic vibe, you shall be served at Zimmerman. This is an Australian brand and I've seen so many YouTubers like fashion bloggers, fashionistas, you know, wearing the skirt. Oh my gosh, it was dreamy. It was like I just stepped out of a period piece, a period drama, so delicate. Um, the material is so so well made the craftsmanship the lace the mix with the prints and the prints are so distinct you shall see in a second what I mean they look like out of a painting they look like out of you know the wall of the roof of a cathedral you shall see what I mean oh so dreamy the quality really blew my mind so those are the two stores that day I believe that really blew my mind and the other one was um, Veronica Beard yes and this dress oh lord you feel like royalty if you wear that I love the different tiers I love the drama the sleeves this Almost like came right of like Project One Away for me. This was so delicious. The soft pink and the price was how much? $2,350. Yes, sis, you heard it correctly. <laughs> so it was gorgeous. I'm like, um, how many months mortgage now? Okay. <laughs> But it was gorgeous. If you have a mean sis, I mean, who am I to say you cannot buy it? But honestly, I just loved exploring the quality of what they have, you know. And um, those are pieces of art for real.
I have, I think, two or three pieces I wanted to try on in the fitting room from the clearance rack. And this skirt caught my attention because I just love the motif. Oh my gosh, it's very flowy. It's very flirty, very feminine and ladylike. Um, I did not buy it though. I felt like it wasn't really me. I'll have... I would have rather bought the dress at Max Marie for mixed print. I feel like it was more me, you know, more like a bit, you know, eclectic vibes and like street style and fashion forward. And those pants, I'm looking for a pinstripe pair of trousers to wear with my um, blazer, but this was not it. It was too small and it wasn't wide legged enough, you know, kind of like a bit more flowy. That's my, more of my vibe. And uh, this dress, I just wanted to try this on, you know. I love how, you know, the materials fit and the color. Like I said, if you are of this kind of like, you know, this essence, you'll be served at that store. Very nice. It's still good to you not know, try nice things on sis. We can still love our goodwill, but also go to nice stores. I made it to the fitting room with this full leather cropped jacket blazer from Alice and Olivia and I loved it. I love that color, that deep green, that forest green color, but I did not buy it. Um, one button was missing and we actually went by Gucci. Now, it was already the evening and we went out to eat. It was a good ambience, good music, and good food, sis. Oh my goodness, leave me a comment if you love Mediterranean food. It was a Lebanese um, restaurant, actually, and we love all this good food. The flavors, the seasonings, the... Ah, oh, just so good. <laughs> I want to go back already. And the lamb, the salad, the hummus, the rice. That was happy eating his food. Oh my goodness, we had a blast. So... It was a nice day, definitely I had a nice birthday. Thank you so much for your well wishes. Once I posted it in my community tab, make sure that you share this video, sis, that you like this video, and also that you leave me a comment. And guess what? We were heading to a thrift store after that because, but I was tired to film this, but I'll do a thrift haul coming soon because I mean, what's a birthday without going thrift shopping? <laughs>